So that's kind of why we, we lease versus buy. Morning. So this is the 29th of December, I believe. No, this is the 30th of December. So this is the day before New Year's Eve. We're running around, we are doing some bill paying, get, trying to get those last minute tax write-offs. I'm in the booming metropolis of Frankfurt, Ohio at the moment, just visiting Nutrient or CPS or whatever they're called now. And now we are going to Ohio Ag, which is in Washington Courthouse. Okay, so like I say, had to come over here to Ohio Ag, and you may be wondering, what are you doing here at the end of the year? Well, just turned in the paperwork for this, not this particular tractor, but a Fent 1038. So as many of you know, our 1038 challengers are leased. One of them is coming off lease next fall. So we had to make the decision in the times that we are living in, sooner rather than later on what we're gonna replace that with, to make sure that we have a tractor next fall. We went ahead and ordered basically the Fent version of our Challenger. Now, a lot of people have asked, why have you not, why didn't you go with another Challenger? So I threw a picture out on Instagram of this tractor a couple weeks ago. We went with a Fent because, well, they don't make a Challenger 1038 anymore. So the 1038 Challengers, they even say Fent on the serial number. They're basically the same machine, but they, they kind of phase those out now. So that's, the next one's gonna be green. Now, a lot of people also ask, why leasing? Why not just purchase this tractor? This tractor stickers for like, oh shoot, almost $600,000. Uh, now granted, a sticker price and a sale price are completely different things. I'm sure you could purchase this tractor for in the fours. Uh, we, leased, we leased it because our payment comes out way more affordable for us. Um, we were going to buy out the 1038 that we have on lease. And then we realized that our payment on that buyout is going to be higher than our lease payment. That's the main reason we went with another lease. Plus, with a lease, we get a warranty that whole time. So, uh, this is going to be a five-year lease. We're going to have warranty on this tractor for five years. So, kind of makes that pretty economical. Um, makes that pretty nice. Like I say, this is same style tractor, not the same cab. So, this has the older style cab. Basically, the same cab that our 1038s are. This tractor that we've ordered, it will actually have the same interior as this, this uh, 740 or 724. Now the cab will be a little bit bigger. The 7 Series I don't think uses the same dimension cab, but this will be the same. So this is the Fent 1 cat or control, I believe is what they call it. As you can see, the, the armrest is way different. A lot more functions. Huh. Battery must be killed but anyways a lot more functions on here um a lot of stuff i don't even understand or know how to use but yeah there you go that's uh that's what i'm doing here this tractor will not show up till probably september i think that's when our other lease ends but with covid and everything like probably going to be showing up about the time our our lease ends so when we ordered this tractor you may wonder how do you even how do you do that we sat down with our salesman. We just went on the Fent website and built the tractor for the specs that we need. So, for example, the new 1038 will have dual hydraulic pumps. The other 1038 does not have that. What that means is we have less hydraulic capacity with that other 1038. Not a huge de deal until you're doing things like running a high-speed planter. High-speed planter uses a lot of hydraulic capacity. The new tractor is going to have, I think, 115-gallon hydraulic capacity. The other tractor that we still have has 55, so really, you know, a lot more capacity. Um, it's going to have the tire inflation system, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't look like this tractor has it in front of us. But basically, from the cab, I will be able to get in the monitor and deflate my tires down for less, less compaction. Uh, we'll be able to drop down to like, say, 15 PSI in the field push a button and they will air back up to like 25 psi to go down the road so that will help eliminate compaction that will help extend the wear of the tires so that'll those will all be good things now we did order it in fent green i really wanted the black but turns out 
ordering a tractor in Fent Black is a $6,000 option that we weren't willing to pay for. Other than that, there's no real huge differences in options that I can think of. Uh, the main thing is uh, it's got the different control system or different armrests and different uh, joystick. I think the rest of the tractor is basically the same. Went with the same uh, same rubber. We have duels on it again. I believe that our front tires are a little different than uh, than ours that we have now. We have the same tires as this tractor with the pizza cutter tires or whatever you want to call them. These are 340. We're putting 380s on it, so it'll be a little bit wider. Uh, no real benefit. I mean, you have more rubber on the ground with a 380, but you also have a, a longer footprint with a 340, so compaction-wise, they're probably pretty similar. And with that inflation system, I don't think it'll matter at all. Um, same size weight block we've got. This is not a three-point hitch, so on a fit, you can get that as an option. We did not. This is just a weight bracket. That's a lot of, a lot of people assume that's a, a hitch. It's actually just a weight bracket. Like I say, it's an option. We did not get that. We don't need it. Other options, you can actually make it to where you can turn the whole steering and everything backwards. We almost got that just for giggles, but we ended up not doing that. We don't really need it. Um, it really wasn't a super expensive option, but we just don't need that. So this tractor is very similar to the inside of ours. Uh, we have the, the less functional joystick, but so this is what we're going from. That's what we're going to be going to. Other than that, there's really no differences inside. Um, you can get a refrigerator option, but the refrigerator from Agco basically takes up that whole space right here. I didn't really want to sacrifice that, and neither did Dad. So this tractor will be replacing the corn planter tractor, so Dad will be driving it in the spring of 23. So... That should make for some good bobcam watching him try to figure out how to, uh, well, do anything in it. So this is one of the guys behind this, this ordering process. It's kind of telling them about how, you know, when we order a tractor, we sit down with our salesman, kind of go over the options we need and stuff, or what makes sense for us. Because if you ever get on, like, Fence website or, like, go build a pickup truck and tell me if you know what options you need. I mean, you know. But, Jason, what kind of availability is there? Like, that's kind of the reason we did this so soon, is just to make sure we had it. It's getting tough. Um, you know, we're finding that we ordered stuff a year ago and we still don't have it today. Yeah. Um, and technically, the only way you can get it now is if you have it actually retailed, you know, to a customer name. Stock orders are getting pushed back. Okay. Um, so, is that why you start going by equipment lots and there's just less and less yeah, equipment? Yeah, and then it's driving the used equipment markets up because there's no new to get. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of a changing world from where we were two years ago. You right. Know, we, yeah. Two years ago, we had a lot on the lots and not many buyers. Now we got right more buyers and we got equipment. Right. So. Well, it looks like you at least have one 1042 fence sitting on the lot. I think it's sold already, though. Oh well, I guess I came up the good a good <laughs> yeah, day for the yeah, video. Yeah, right, though. right. I think it <laughs> it got signed uh, last week. Yeah. So is this your busiest time of the year as far as sales? Last yeah. week of the year? Yeah, this is definitely our busiest December. Usually is really busy why do you think that is <laughs> i'd say uh everybody figures out if they got money or don't have money or whatever right. pay uncle sam or not pay uncle sam so right, right. So, well jason i appreciate you letting me walk around no problem yourself. anytime all right now we gotta run home and i think we're gonna clean some equipment or something unless bj's already done it fingers crossed all right i'm gonna wash off this oxbow wash the back of it and then we're gonna wash off the telehandler both of these have been you know getting you know, quite a bit of fertilizer on them on the daily but we are done hauling fertilizer and until it gets cold again we are done spreading fertilizer so that could be a week or two could be tomorrow i don't know but we want to get these pieces of equipment cleaned up so they don't corrode and completely fall apart fertilizer is corrosive very corrosive so as you can see i mean just i mean that was fairly polished up until about a week ago and the last time we used it and it's already starting to rust, so that's why you gotta keep this stuff cleaned off. Oh, sh so luckily, Thunder Wagon is over here in the air, in the reel that would reach that far, so get her aired up.
you're gonna have to give me a lesson again i ain't used this thing since the day we got it so the last time we did this my testicles hurt and this time we're doing this bj's shoulders hurt let's get for shoulder pain <laughs> Put up the pressure washer we're gonna leave it over here but it's not gonna freeze or anything so probably come over we gotta still rinse off the dump truck tomorrow and the semi hasn't ever been cleaned we're gonna put this up for tonight and readdress tomorrow Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Did want to mention that uh, we just donated a little over $6,000 to the Alzheimer's Association. Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyways, I do want to thank you guys for helping me raise that money. I uh, also want to thank Farm Focus. Uh, ben over at Farm Focus, he does not take any profits from these uh, dementia awareness t-shirts either, so I do want to thank Ben for that. And you guys for contributing. Um, thanks a lot.